evening, ladies and gentlemen. All the glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of my praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. I'm thankful. I'm elated. I'm grateful for all who have gathered to launch this book with me. I must recognize the presence of His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, ably represented by the Deputy Governor, Dr. Vladimir Amzat, who just left a few moments ago. I'm so grateful. I've been on Governor's matter for a week now. Said Ryan, if I can't come, the Deputy will come. I'm so grateful, His Excellency, for coming here. I'm grateful to my chief launcher, Chief Razak Okoya, who couldn't be here, but graciously sent his brother, Elijah Tajuddin Okoya. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. I appreciate your presence. I don't take it for granted at all. Thank you, Usman, also for being here to read that speech. Thank you very much. To all my family in the Lagos State Government, if I start calling now, I won't be able to finish. But everybody that has come from um, LCDA, all the various um, MDAs, all the various parastatals in Lagos State Government. Thank you so much for being here. I work with some of you. We work close. Many of you have been on our show. I am so grateful that you took our time to be here. And to my pastors in the building, Pastor Bayo Nguemi and his wife, Pastor Olokoyo and his wife, Pastor Itwa Ndodalo, thank you so much for being here. I mean, it was intentional for you to be here. I really, really am grateful for you. And I know Brown will come. I think my brother is doing both of them generally. So he'll still thank everybody. But the reason why I had to make my remarks is because I wanted to use this opportunity to tell you why this book was important to me. You know, lots of queens have gone ahead of me. Queens like Honorable Abika Dabiri, queens like um, Adesua Oyedukwe, Queens like Fumi Yonda, lots of queens have gone ahead of me. And with myself and the ladies, I was just right behind them, also walking in their footprints. But the reason why this book was important, as my husband said in the opening remark, I practically stripped myself. You hear about my upbringing. Many do not know the kind of struggles I went through as a young child. You hear about my sojourn when I traveled to the US. You hear about my car accidents when God saved my life. When I couldn't walk for 10 months, I have a hole here, I have a hole here, I have a, I have a full strip here. I have 12 inch rod on my right thigh, I have two screws on my, my knee, and I have two screws on my, my ankle. I have a skull fracture from here all the way to the middle of my head. I had two big scars on the sides here. I had lumps, I, I collapsed, I was in coma for days. It took me months for therapy. And I was asking God, please let me walk again. Let me walk again, just let me walk again. I didn't even believe I could walk. When I now finally walk, and I had this big scar on my face. I said, Well, now, okay, now I started walking, but this scar now, I can't be going around with two colors. Please, you know, let me remove. But a really big black scar on my face. It took a long time for that scar to go, but eventually it did. But you see, that was a process. Then I came back to Nigeria, getting the job was crazy. And eventually, God helped me to the point where I traveled to the US and I got arrested. I slept in jail, it's in the book, you get the details. I was in jail. I came back, and when I called my former boss, Tony Subaru, you know, I was depressed for about a month. After that thing happened, I came back to Nigeria, and I was deported. I was just crying. And one of the first few, the only people that I knew was me, my husband and my mother. Nobody knew what was happening. And the only person, the first one I called was my former boss, Tony Subaru. The day I called him, the very first thing I said, and I will judge everything from start to finish, what happened? And his only response, congratulations, Ryan. You're going to be great. This only happens to people 
who are going to be great. And I never, never forgot that sentence. That sentence. And I held on to that. That Father, that greatness, you are not going to go through these things. I want to see it. And then we went to TBC. Had my own challenges in TBC, I will not lie. Now we have amazing uh, board members and um, management at TBC. But there was a time of thunder and brimstone. Those of us in TBC, we know. There was a season of hard thunder and brimstone that we had to go through. I went through the process. And you see, these stories are important because many Nigerians refuse to share their stories. We all become 10 steps to become rich. 10 minutes to become a leader. 5 steps. Forgetting that it's your unique stories that you went through that people will be inspired by. Not the excellence of, oh, it's 5 steps to this. It's 2 steps to that. Those are good stories. But that thing God took you through from start to where you are is the uniqueness of what he's trying to achieve. And once you, because Nigerian young people need role models. We need role models who are willing to speak up. Tell us what happened. How you fell. How you triumphed. How you were cheated. How you robbed. How you became a thief, thief yourself. If you're a politician here, I was a thief or oh, but now I have reason. Tell us the truth. Tell us how you went. We want to learn from your mistakes. And that's what this book does. It strips me out of everything. There's nothing else you can say. It is on the way. So the reason why, that's my single thing I would like you to leave this place with. To know that, let us begin. For those of you who are going to be writing books after this, please know your real stories is what Nigerian young people need. Your real experiences is what we need you to hear. So we can learn from it and they can truly know the depth of the experience God has been passed us through. With that, I'm going to thank everybody for being here. The party is just about to start. Um, when I was worried about people coming and not coming, God said, Raya, it's not about who is there or who is not there. It's about my glory. Just relax and enjoy your day. And that's everything I want you to do. Enjoy and relax. I'm going to go a break. I'm going to change my clothes now. When I come back, I'm going to be dancing inside. And I'd like you all to dance inside with me. I'm going to be celebrating and thanking God for an amazing 10 years. And I did not do it alone. I did it with other ladies of your view. Chopper Marco Dike, Mariam Longe, Obia Julugo, Yenny, Kula Anato Anikula Poguti, Nima Akasha Zibiri, and other other ladies, past and present ladies. They're all part of that show, and I'm grateful to God. Thank you so much for being here this evening. And for those of you that have launched, thank you for your support. Those of you who are still going to launch with me, thank you very much for your support. God bless you all.